right, hello everyone and welcome to Science with Miss Sam. So today we are going to learn a little bit about chemistry. So right now we're in October, but soon it's going to start getting colder and it's going to start freezing. We're going to see snow on the ground and we're going to see a lot of ice. So I have a bag of ice and I've got some salt with me. So have any of you noticed that when it gets cold and icy on the roads, people pour salt? We see those big trucks that dump salt. Uh, your parents might have a bucket of salt that they keep by the front door or in the garage. They do that because when you add salt to ice, it lowers that freezing point and allows it to melt. So we are going to do a little experiment today to test that out. And what better way to do that than by making our very own ice cream. So ask your mom and dad if it's okay that you can make your own ice cream. They may have to go get a couple ingredients, um, but I'm gonna teach you all how, how to do it. It's very easy, very simple, and it only takes like 15 minutes. Okay, so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a Ziploc bag, that is a quart size Ziploc bag. You're gonna need a gallon size Ziploc bag that you can put your ice in. You'll need kosher salt or ice cream salt. Now I have done it with fine crystal salt, but I've noticed that the salt that's more coarse works a little bit better. Um, so if you just have table salt at home and you wanna use that, it'll work too. You'll need sugar. You'll need vanilla, and then you'll need either half and half or whole milk. Um, it doesn't really matter. You just want to use something that's a little bit more creamy than like 1%, 2% or skim. All right. So for the first part is you might want to have somebody help you hold the bag for when you dump all of your ingredients into it. Um, since I'm doing it by myself, I just have a bowl in front of me. So I'm going to put this in my bowl. I'll move my ingredients so you can see. All right. So you'll need some measuring cups because you have to use a certain measurement. And I'll make sure that I put those measurements up in this video for you guys. Um, but I'm just going to tell them right now. So I have my little measuring cups that I've already measured my ingredients into. So the first thing you need is one whole cup of half and half. So I'm going to dump that in. Then you want to add two tablespoons of your sugar and then a half teaspoon of vanilla. Okay. So that's it. That's all you need to make your own ice cream. It's pretty easy. So you want to make sure that you seal your bag nice and tight and squeeze all of the air out of it so that your ice cream can form better. Okay. All right. So now our ice cream is ready to be shaken. Now I have our big bag of ice and you don't want to fill it up too much. Otherwise there won't be enough room for you to shake your ice cream bag around. Um, so make sure you have maybe like three cups or so or fill it up halfway. And this is where our whole chemistry thing comes in. So what we do is we're going to pour a third cup of our coarse salt onto the ice. Okay. And then we're going to place our bag in here. So why we're adding salt to our ice I had mentioned that earlier about how we do it on the roads when it gets really icy and cold outside, but we're going to do it in here because our ice cream isn't made of water. So that means it has a even lower freezing point than water does. Water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So by adding the salt to our ice, we're lowering the surrounding temperature that's around our bag of ice cream so that it can start to freeze, and then that's how we get our ice cream. So this is gonna be the fun part. You wanna hold your bag and make sure that if you have a dish towel or some oven mitts at home, you might wanna use those so that your hands don't get too cold because like I said, the salt is gonna make the ice a lot colder. 
So then you take your bag and you're gonna wanna shake it around for about seven to 10 minutes or until you see that your ice cream is kind of formed like, you know, a good ice cream texture. So you shake it around. party when you do it or pass it off. Uh, parents, this is a good way to maybe get your weekly exercise in. Um, I know I did when I was making some the other day. Um, so you can shake that around for about five to ten or seven to ten minutes like I said. And I already have some magically pre-made so I'm not going to shake that around the whole time on this video. So then you're going to see that you're going to get, your bag is probably going to be a little bit covered in it on the sides so you can take a spoon and just kind of scrape it down into the bag so then you have it in a little bit more concealed consistency. And then I have an ice cream scooper, so I'm just going to take it out. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Scoop it all out. And since we used one cup of the cream, you get a pretty decent serving, so you can share it if you've got friends or siblings. Um, or you can even share it with your parents if you want. Okay, so now I have my very own homemade ice cream. You can use some chocolate syrup if you want. I have some jimmies, maybe whipped cream. Um, you can kind of make it your own. If you want to make it chocolate, um, ice cream, you could try adding some chocolate syrup into the bag when you're mixing it. Um, I'm sure that would work out just fine, but I'm going to add my toppings here. Okay, now I'm going to test it out. You guys, this is really good. <laughs> All right. So, feel free to enjoy your homemade ice cream now, um, and make sure you have some fun with it. And if you do end up making it, send us a picture, you can email us, you can post it on Facebook and tag us. We would love to see if you made your ice cream. Uh, thank you so much for joining me for Science with Miss Sam, um, and be sure to tune in for one of our next program videos that's going to be coming out soon. Bye!